Welcome everyone, this is my how-to favorite leveling spot within Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PlayStation 4. This is FFAN 16 and let's get started. My favorite spot within the game to level up is in Traverse Town in the 2nd District within the Bell Tower. So as we enter the Bell Tower here, I'm just going to show you my stats previous to entering for Sora, Donald, and Goofy. And let's enter on in here. So as we move forward, we're going to start engaging the first soldier. Just at this point, it's very early in the game, so you're only going to see soldiers and shadows within the Bell Tower. As you gain more worlds within the game and you become further along, the enemies in Traverse Town do become more powerful, giving you more TP and P points as you engage them. So as this is the beginning of the game footage, you're only going to see soldiers and shadows. As you can see, they're pretty feisty. But there's going to be a lot of HP balls and good money that can be made in this area as well. And you also have the enemies outside the bell tower to engage along with these guys. So a good chance to get some money collected if you're a little short on funds as well. And items. Spirit shards are dropped at this point by these guys. It's a good chance to get TP points as much as possible. Those technical points can add up pretty quick to helping you level up. If you're able to counter strike their attack, you can gain TP points as well as the points towards normal XP. Okay, Donald's always just so useless, but he gets some of the points. I'm not too sure when they're passed out like that if they're actually gaining experience. As I look at the stats, once we get everybody awoke here, I think Donald get the least out of them all, but that's not a shocker. So I've com completed the mob fights here. We're gonna exit out the back of the clock tower. And I'm just gonna show you my stats again to see what we've gained. Actually, it looks like Goofy got the less amount, which is really odd. He was awake the whole battle. Okay, so we're going to exit out here and go out to the back of the clock tower and we're gonna jump down to this alley. Once in the alley, you could engage the spawned soldiers. And Donald's out for the count. You'll get used to that. He does it a lot. Enter Pongo and Purdy's house which is also known as Little Dalmatian's house. If you've collected any puppies at this point, you'll be able to give them back to their mom and dad and see these cute little cutscenes with them. And then sometimes if you collect enough puppies, Punko and Purdy will give you a gift. But go into the next room because you need to regenerate the enemies in the previous area. Once in this sitting room, you can go back to Pongo and Purdy's room and exit out into the alley of the second district. Upon exiting, you will be able to re-engage. At this point, you know that the bell tower is going to be able to respawn the mob that you just fought. Just keep going back, refight that mob, and keep doing this cycle until the cycle becomes uh, redundant almost because you find that you're going to be to the point where the 3P and the 1P really isn't going to be leveling you up very well. As you progress within the story of Kingdom Hearts, you're going to be able to get different enemies spawn in Traverse Town that are going to be harder and, and better for experience points. So once you do unlock those new Heartless within Traverse Town, you can start this cycle all over again until again they become very poor for you to level up with. But it's a great little cycle to do. I do find that it is one of the quicker ones and the ability to respawn them is really accurate and the money gathering is quite sufficient, especially when the harder mobs become available within Traverse Town. So we're just gonna keep fighting these guys. So that's my favorite trick to leveling up within Kingdom Hearts 1. I hope you liked this video. If you did, put a like on the below. Leave me a comment about where your favorite leveling spots in Kingdom Hearts 1 is. This is FFAN16. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Please subscribe to the channel and happy gaming.